We live in the world where we have an increasing number of infectious diseases. More and more microbes are resistant to drugs available in the pharmaceutical markets. Because of this, today we have a problem with the human health. If we want to solve this problem, we need to explore a new plants. The reason for this is that we have a plants with metabolites uh, which have actively act against various diseases. My master thesis is in vitro action of Ambrosia artemisifolia extracts on gram-negative bacteria. Tested bacteria included Escherichia coli, extensive spectrum beta-lactamase, Salmonella enteritidis, and Pseudomonas aeruginosa. All we know about Ambrosia that it is an allergenic plant, but people don't know that it is a very important plant for development of new antibiotics. Ambrosia has more secondary metabolites such as guayans, germacrase, ukase, and etc. I worked with the microdilution method. The microtitter plate I used too for this method, and I determined minimum inhibitory concentration or MIC and minimum bacterial concentration or MBC. Pink content swells represent that bacteria were alive, while blue content swells represent that bacterial growth had been prevented. The MIC is the lowest concentration by extract of ambrosia, which kills bacteria for 90%, while the MBC is the value closest to the MIC, which extract of ambrosia kills bacteria for 99%. The methanolic extra gave me the best result on Salmonella enteritidis, which we see in the row D. I used to first four contents from these wells, and I was platting on Miller Hinton agar. After incubation, I saw that content four well represents MIC. That means I had bacterial growth on agar while the content third well represents MBC. That means I didn't have bacterial growth on Miller-Hinton agar. Conclusion is, we need extract of ambrosia and other plants in treating patients with disease caused by resistant bacterial strains. Thank you.